Okay. So, this is being filmed. I don't know how much noise I'm making with this little microphone. But what I'm looking for is an 82.65 Intel. And I don't believe it's going to be anything this massive. Hell, I don't even think I've got that one listed as being for sale. I believe it's going to be um, not one of the I don't want a wireless card I know that for sure and this is what happens when you get old it requires the use of well, I'll be dipped. There it is, right there. 82.65. That is the... Uh... Come on, focus, you little bastard. Uh... But that's the one, right there. And this is just a little uh, rubber spacer on the end of it there so we can put all these back in the box of stuff from the land of oh. that is one thing that I should have mentioned is that the I'm back again and of course the little bastard that I'm wanting is going to be damn I think it's that one So I may not be able to, uh, no, that's wireless, uh, WLAN, where is, my, uh, connection, that almost looks like it's soldered to the board, so, let me, uh, do some further reconnoitering, and I will, be right back again. Okay. So, this is a killer chip that was in this device. And this is a spare one that I had. I was going to put a different one in there, but the format was completely different. So this is the one that I had available. Uh, watch this be like ancient total piece of crap not work so it's in I'm going to slap the back on and just set it on and then sorry about all that power this mother up and see if it blows up Or if it will recognize that there's soft, there's a piece of equipment that needs to have the uh, right there is the uh, wireless saying that it does or it does not.
and see if Windows 10 will say hey you got some other what software or And it connected. Sure's the world. Okay, so that's a success. It automatically detected it on the boot up. Never even showed me that it was. What I what had happened is that I could not connect to either. There's a Pickles 5G, and there's a Pickles just regular, and it would not connect to either one of those and it had connected to those like it made it up so and i was using i was down downloading drivers for sdr sharp and i may have overwritten it i i don't think i overwrote the driver for the uh sent the uh wi-fi card but i just may have so um and that doesn't mean that that little card is bad just that it would not connect no matter what I tried um, so I'm kinda pretty stoked about this it worked um, I've got to go to Home Depot to get some tubing for that and I will be back to tie this off and to finish this video get all those little screws back on the back and um, maybe do a review this is all being recorded on the handheld osmo 2 or whatever the hell it's called the little bitty camera and you know when i'm just sitting here um it seems to be doing a pretty good job uh i can see it on the screen it's not massive but you know it is what it is so i'll tie this in and maybe i'll even try to get it on davinci who knows Okay, much later, I'm back. Um, I had to run around Hilton Head. And I believe that I showed that the thing did turn on and it automatically connected to Wi-Fi. So, I would say that is a success. Now, I don't know if it's so much this card as it is. Let me see if I can get this thing to come down some uh, if it's the card or it's the just the driver and I overwrote the driver so I'm gonna put that in my storehouse of goods that means the box of unlimited crap here and then I'm going to go ahead and button this up and call this one a win for the team. Now, um, I would say that I bought, I think these T5s, if you're going to do any work on a computer, you might as well go ahead and get a T5, get multiple ones. Um, for whatever reason, the ones that are in those kits don't seem to be very well made. They strip out very easy. Um, so I bought four or five of these and um, just have them in, the, in my kit to uh, work on the computer. So let me uh, button this back up and make sure it's still working and then uh, I'll wrap this video up. Okay, the screws have been uh, 
replaced. Um, the first time I started messing with this little um, DJI camera, uh, after not have messed with it for a little bit, I always use the joystick the wrong direction. So let's open this up and lint. Fire this puppy up as a proof of concept. A couple of things as this thing's warm, you know, firing up is number one, you need to make sure, uh, unlike what I did, is to uh, possibly disconnect the battery. Okay, when you take the back off, put the screws somewhere where it's going to be next to impossible to lose the screws. Knock them off on the floor, then you're missing screws. Um, I just det detest messing with computers that somebody, and it has, look at that, I don't know if you can see it there, Wi-Fi Connect. So we have a successful, uh, I'm going to move out of here so i put my little deal in, and yes it is, it is connected to Wi-Fi. Um, so a couple things to bear in mind. Find some place uh, that will be almost impossible to knock over and lose the screws. Something with a lip, but it's not something that's such a pain in the butt to get the screws back out and put them back in where they go. Uh, the next thing is, like I was saying, you may want to disconnect the battery. Um, the next thing is, is before you start just randomly ordering a new uh, internet card, uh, 2.4, 5.0, whatever, or combo, whatever it is that you're looking for, make sure that you pop the back off of this thing and look at the shape and the way the uh, existing card is made. I was going to put an 8265 Intel uh, card and chip in there and come to find out it's got the, it was a center pin. It had the center screw and it would not have worked because there's no mounting screw to put that type of particular and I think it's a, the pin setup was a little bit different so look it up look up what which card or chip that you've got and make sure that you order a compatible chip if it looks like not so much chip but a uh, card um, Make sure that you've got the right one that will fit in there the right way, the right amount of pins. When you get the thing in, in my opinion, if it's anything that's even worth owning, it, Windows should be able to identify it as soon as you turn the device back on. Uh, the other thing is, is make sure that you know which side of the card, the white uh, auxiliary and the black primary antenna cable plugs into you can give yourselves a lot of problems and just work at it slow don't be yanking don't be pulling don't be using a lot of ex excessive force none of this stuff should require any type of brute force to uh, or percussive maintenance to get the thing back together and, and functioning it should be a pretty easy walk in the park put the back back on flip it over so you're not electrocuting yourself or shorten out the device before you button it up turn it on and make sure Windows will identify it. If you're not confident in that route, you can go ahead and get the drivers for that new card um, and have them on hand on a thumb drive just in case uh, Windows doesn't identify it. Uh, but I'd be a little, that to me sounds a little sketch. Um, if it's a card that's worth anything, it should be readily identified by Windows. So. It's up, it's functioning, it's connected to Wi-Fi, um, yeah, all is good. Now I can go back to teaching myself how to use SDR Sharp for SDR, uh, checking out the, the sound waves and stuff like that, uh, different hand bands. Uh, actually this is, depending on the dongle you use, it's about any band that you want to listen to. So. Let me get back to that 
and I will sign off with this. Thank you for watching, and I hope this was helpful. Um, be blessed, be safe, and be back. And if you think about it, maybe give me a like and consider subscribing. Thanks. Bye.